Hello everyone, this is Vasant, a nine pointer at IIT Bombay from the Department of Civil Engineering. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from Qubit. So, this is the problem over here. There is a high strength steel wire of diameter D is bent is bent around a cylindrical drum of radius or not. We need to determine the bending moment m and maximum bending stress sigma max in the y. See, initially the wire is striped like this with circular cross section. Okay, this is rectangular. Uh, assume this is of circular cross section. So, with a diameter, some diameter d, initially it is striped. So, somehow the person bent it around the the person bent it around the drum. Suppose this is the drum and he bent it around the drum like this. Okay. So see in the question, you won't see the bending moment value m, but it is clear case of bending, right? So from intuition, you can clearly say that this is the case of the y is in under bending. So the case of bending. And one thing over here, if you observe from here to here, So if you observe here to here, the radius of the curvature is constant. Next observation is radius of curvature is constant. And here, here radius of curvature, here radius of curvature. is infinite because it is straight because its center is infinite pe hoga. so its its radius of curvature will be infinite right so and so as this we already know that kappa will be is equals to m by e i right so if you observe over here in this part if you take this part for this part the kappa curvature is 0, kappa is 0 and EI is some value. So from this we get m is equal to 0 in this region, right? Similarly in this region also the wire is straight, it doesn't bend. So in this region also the kappa is 0, kappa is equal to m by EI, right? Kappa is 0. So from this we get m is equal to 0. So, but in this region, the kappa is non-zero, means the curvature is non-zero. So, we have non-zero value of bending moment. And in this region, we have the constant curvature, right, constant radius of curvature. That means constant curvature. That means the value of bending moment is constant. See, so suppose this is A and this is A dash. So our observation is that a a dash mein radius of curvature is not not is equal to zero means has some value is constant and that is constant. So from this we can say that kappa is constant and that is equals to m by e i. And as this is a prismatic bar, sorry, prismatic wire, so prismatic wire, so for prismatic wire, the cross sectional area will be same, so the I will be same, and E will be same, because we are considering the material is homogeneous and isotropic. Okay, so E i will be same, so that will be constant some value in A dash. So this is constant and this is constant. So from this we can say that M in A A dash is constant. So bending moment is constant at every cross section in A dash. 
so this implies this is the case of pure bending So shear force in a dash is zero right so now we need to find out the value of radius of curvature in that portion a dash so you see the radius of curvature i already said in the first lecture yes in second lecture so the radius of curvature is measured from the neutral axis Okay, so the drum is like this, and the let us draw it B. This is the wire. So the neutral axis for this cross section of the wire will be over here, and this is the center of the drum. So the radius of curvature should be measured from this center to this neutral axis. So this is neutral axis. we know that neutral axis passes through the centroid of the cross section and this cross section is circular this also this cross section is also circular so it passes through the center of the cent center of the circle okay neutral axis so this radius of curvature r this is a and this is a dash in a dash will be is equals to radius of the drum is given as r not this is from here to here and the diameter of the wire is given as d so this will be d by 2 so this radius of curvature r will be is equals to r not plus d by 2 okay so it will be 2 r not plus d divided by 2 so kappa curvature will be is equals to 2 divided by 2 r not plus d okay so and this will be is equals to m by ei so we know the value of E that is given in the question, so that is two hundred gigapascals into ten power nine pascals, and the value of I we need to calculate. So the cross section of the wire is given as a kil. So and the bending, the bending of the wire is so this is the plane. The bending of the wire is like this, right? so the bending moment is somehow like this so the axis about which we need to calculate the area moment of inertia will be like this right so assume this is circular cross section so that will be if this is the circle cross sectional view of the wire so this will be the axis x okay we need to find out moment of inertia about this axis so about this axis we know the value of mass moment of inertia that is mr square divided by, suppose this is r radius r so this will be mr square divided by 4 right so just replace mass with area for area moment of inertia so that will be pi r power 4 by 4 that will be is equals to pi d power 4 divided by 64 okay so we know that kappa is given by m divided by ei and m will be is equals to kappa into ei so kappa ka value 2 by 2 r not plus d and into e ka value is there and i ka value is pi d power 4 divided by 64 so m will be is equals to we have a uh, pi e d power 4 divided by 32 into 2 or not plus d so now let us substitute this this is pi into e is 200 into 10 cube mega pascals and d let us substitute d value of d is 4 mm so 4 whole square divided by 32 Two into this radius or not of the drum is zero point five meters, means five hundred plus this d is four. Okay, so let us calculate this value using the calculator. If we calculate this value, uh, this is five into two hundred into thousand into sixteen. 
divided by 32 divided by 1004 right so from this if we calculate the value of m <coughs> we get it as 5.03 newton meter okay this is the value of m now another value we need to calculate is maximum bending stress so we know that sorry we know that sigma is equal to m y by i in magnitude okay so sigma max will be is equal to m y max by i so m we already know 5.03 sorry 0 1 i think sorry 5.01 so into y y max will be d by 2 so that is d by 2 that is uh, 4 mm right so 4 by 2 2 mm so this is newton into meter divided by i i ka value is 5d power 4 divided by 64 right so calculate this value you will get the sigma max and comment the answer in the comment section see we need to know about the sign convention i said that don't bother about the sign convention in the formula just go with the intuition so from the diagram itself we are getting to know that the curvature is like this so from this we can say that the upper portion is in tension and the lower portion is in compression so the maximum and the uh, if the circular shape is doubly symmetric so the value of maximum compressive stress and maximum tensile stress are same right so uh, in upper portion it is tensile and in the lower portion it is compressive so here we are bothering uh, we are just writing the magnitude just calculate the value using this formula right so if you see the maximum bending stress over here is same throughout a, a dash okay so this is a wire of uniform strength similar to that of wire of uh, similar to that of bars of uniform strength where we say that the maximum normal stress due to axial loading should be same at every cross section similarly in this case also if you see the value of sigma max is same so this is y of uniform strength right so with this we end today's lecture in next lecture we are going to discuss one more problem to understand these concepts if you like this lecture do subscribe to our channel nine pointer thank you